morning this is Jeff from Glenwood Farms uh, this is video number two and uh, they're not uh, in sequence um, but this is on the irrigation uh, that I've used to uh, irrigate my planters on the raised trellis um, as you can see I've got um, drip irrigation in each one of the planters and what I've done is I've come off a main line and it branches out into uh, each row and irrigates the uh, planters. So let me tell you a little bit about what I've done on this, the materials I've used. Uh, the main branch comes into a um, or starts off I say where you would connect it to a water hose or your sprinkler system and it runs parallel with the bottom rail and this main uh, rail or this main uh, supply line I believe it's um, polyvinyl uh, tubing it's the uh, tubing that you can get in a drip irrigation kit from any of the uh, big box home improvement stores so I ran that around uh, or I should say I ran it on the, the bottom rail of the um, planter and then attached it to that bottom rail with some galvanized um, uh, conduit straps um, where you just uh, secure them on one uh, one end and I just used um, those pressure treated screws again to have a square head um, then uh, as it goes to each leg I've used a little valve here um, I don't know if you can see it and that ties into the main line here and then off of that I run a secondary supply line which is, is this flexible rubber tubing here and this runs down underneath and then I use a T connector for each planter the bottom of that supply line is um, is attached to that bottom rail with a um, cable strap you know I, I use this they're underneath the board so I don't really think they're going to come in contact with moisture too much and they're really not doing anything other than just holding that uh, strap up and then once they come off of that T at the bottom down here, as you can see, um, I have another piece that goes up to the actual drip irrigation line, which there's a hole in each one of these, and it drips out water um, slowly and make a loop around that here's one here that hasn't been tucked in but um, make a loop and that's attached with another T fitting on that um, and then once those are inside the planter you can either bury them in there like I've done on those over there um, or you can use little stakes like this which have a little cutout um, to be able to put the hose in and you just stake them in the ground and it holds those as well a uh, couple things to keep in mind when you're doing this is the loop for the drip irrigation you want to make sure that you have the holes placed somewhere around the plants themselves um, because then if you don't do that you're gonna have a lot of water just dripping and it's not going to necessarily get to the plant unless you actually saturate the planter so that's one thing uh, measuring them to where they're actually going to stay inside the plant or not on the outside this one here once it's um, stretched properly uh, it'll fit right inside the planter I have to tuck this vine underneath that um, but it should be okay after that um, 
I think that's pretty much it on this. Uh, let me think if there's anything else I needed to tell you. No. Um, that should do it. Um, anyways, the uh, next video will be on the planners, uh, the, the, why I chose these type of planners, and uh, the preparations I did to be able to use these. Thank you for watching.